when you're a vegan and you're hungry at a work camp. My secret stash, accessible from my bed. and welcome to my video. Uh, today's little peek into my life as a vegan in a Northern Canadian work camp. So um, I am a wildlife biologist if you haven't already seen the videos on my channel and I film videos on all sorts of stuff but right now this week I, for the next two weeks actually, I am working on a big project up in Northern Alberta here. There's nothing around but a ton of bears and forest. If you don't know what a work camp is, it is for these locations that are really, really far north um, that don't have any hotels or towns. Uh, they kind of build these trailers and you get like one room in it, but it's just like an easy place for all workers to stay um, when they're working in the area and all meals are provided, everything's included. So it's kind of like an all-inclusive resort in a way. Generally, the accommodations can really vary. Sometimes they'll be like five-star chefs, and then sometimes it'll be really, really poor conditions. This one's pretty nice, actually, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, I'll show you around my room a bit, show you what it looks like, and uh, check out a few things that I'm gonna eat this week. This is a tour of like what the typical camp room looks like. I actually have a really nice one, so I have a bit bigger of a bed than most people have. Got my little eating area, got a microwave, got a fridge, got my workstation, my field gear, a big bin of food, all my snacks, some breakfast stuff, and I have my own bathroom. Sometimes I have to share with someone, but I've kind of got a tub. This might not look very appetizing, but it's actually really tasty. I got some rice and some pasta. So I came here and they said basically the only thing that we have for you is potato, rice, and like broccoli. And then I went to go meet the chef. He said that he's been like researching vegan food and, but he was like so happy to like cook for a vegan. Like they never had one here before. I feel like I'm like in the equivalent of when they say like, if you were on a desert island, would you eat a pig? Like, I feel like I'm in like the real world equivalent of that. It's like if you were in the far north and all you had was some potato and rice, would you eat meat? But uh, if you keep it simple and stuff that doesn't really go bad, like honestly, I'm not eating like a ton of veggies but more like grains, quinoa, nuts, that kind of thing, and it's possible. Um, I had quite the experience today at work. Um, so basically I'm like, I walk in this little treat area and I look down and I hear this like whirring noise and I'm a little concerned and then I just see like a hole and just like a ton of wasps flying out of it. I was like screaming and screaming and like running through the forest. I like ripped all my clothes off because they were like under my clothes stinging me. I guess bees or wasps or whatever like spray some pheromone that like if you kill one, 
then or they like decide they want to attack you then all of their wasps like for the rest of the day attack you so pretty much got about 15 to 16 stings throughout the course of the day icing my stings and they hurt so bad i'm watching youtube videos of people in pretty places while i sit in camp and my dinner tonight was rice and potatoes and i brought some hummus to put on top of it but i am so sick of the food here i do have a papaya that i brought in with me that i'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow another fun day starting to appreciate all of the fruit I just buy at the store. Every time I'm outside, I feel like I just appreciate the benefits I get just sitting inside and relaxing. Animals and wildlife don't get that benefit of just hanging out too often. It's more like, okay, am I gonna starve to death in the next winter? So it is my last day at camp, finally. I'm going home tomorrow, but um, I'm gonna go see what they have for dinner tonight. They got a lot of really good snacks at least. So let's go see what they have. I got my typical meal of potatoes, vegetables, and rice. So I added a little bit of hot sauce and had some pizza on the side, but uh, getting a little sick of that. Ready to go home and make some of my own food and get my Vitamix back. So I'm finally back home and as soon as I started driving to the airport, they told me that they needed me to go back and to spend another 12 days out in the field. So I have like two days at home. I'm gonna make a Vitamix smoothie, finally, and then go back out uh, up north again. So uh, this is my small little bit of a look into what it's like to live and work in a camp up north and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, for a lot of people this probably was something they never even seen or heard of before. So uh, thanks for watching.